One popular feature on your quoting tool for the annual enrollment period is using the fill in the gaps tool. So what this tool allows you to do is run a Medicare Advantage quote alongside a hospital indemnity plan. So then you can show your client how that particular hospital indemnity plan can help fill in the gaps to their Medicare Advantage plan. So to start that, what we would have to do is we would go back to our main dashboard screen. And we would first start out by running a Medicare Advantage quote. So under Medicare Advantage, I would hit run quote and then I would type in the client zip code, select the county, and then hit get quote. It's then going to bring up all the available Medicare Advantage plans that I can um, quote my client. So once I find the Medicare Advantage plan that meets their needs, I would then hit on the plan details here in the bottom left. This is going to bring up all the plan details for this particular Humana plan. It's going to show you what their in-network, their out-of-network, their co-insurance are for um, each of the items underneath their plan. So once I know that I want to get them into a hospital indemnity plan to help fill in the coverage gaps, there's this blue box up at the top called Fill the Gaps. I would just check mark that. I would type in my client's zip code and then their age, their gender, and their tobacco status. I would hit get quote. It's then going to bring up a drop down list of all the different hospital indemnity plans that we have in the quoting tool. If I was looking at uh, GTL's Advantage Plus plan, the 10 day plan, I would just select that and click add to comparison. So what this is going to do is it's going to bring me a side-by-side -side comparison of the Humana and the GTL plan. And then as I scroll to the bottom is where I'm going to start being able to see what I have to pay uh, co-insurance for my MA plan. And then if that hospital indemnity plan has any riders that I can add um, to cover those, uh, those co-pays. So for example... I see that my ambulance, I have an in-network 20% co-insurance or a $265 copay for in-network. So if I wanted to add an ambulance rider to my hospital indemnity plan, I can go ahead and do so. Then I see that um, in here in green, it's going to tell you how much more month that is going to cost them. And I continue scrolling. I can see um, what that MA plan covers what the out-of-pocket is, and then what's uncovered in the hospital indemnity plan. So for example, I can see that the ER visit is already included in the plan. I can see that I do have an option for adding a outpatient surgical benefits writer. So if I wanted to add that to cover my in-network, I can see what that's going to do to my premium here. It would add about $15 to that. Then if I scroll down here to the hospital uh, confinement benefits, this is where you're probably going to spend most of your time looking at how much um, your client can afford on a per day for their benefit amount. So right now the base plan is $100 a day for that um, $12.05. So I can see what their copay is for days one through five. So if I wanted to get those uh, days covered, I could select the 300 and I can see what that would do to my premium. Or maybe since this is for 10 days, I can select half of what the copay will be. So then it still covers the $300 a day. And I can see that is only $18. You can play around with these different benefit amounts uh, fairly easy here. You can just see how that changes. I also could add a lump sum hospital confinement benefit as well. There's also an option to add a skilled nursing writer so I can see what my copay is 
for the days 21 through 50 and then go ahead and add that uh, benefit writer because this would cover days 21 through 100. So maybe if I just wanted to add that $120 a day, I would see that that increased my cost to just under $8. My inpatient mental health is already covered. And then if I wanted to add a writer for accidental death, I could do so as well. So as I scroll back up, I can then um, explain to the, to the client how this hospital indemnity plan will help fill in these um, gaps in their coverage so they wouldn't have to pay all of um, their copay or their out-of-pocket. The plan would definitely help them. So then as I scroll up to the top here, now I can see what that total cost is for my um, GTL hospital indemnity plan as I fill in the gaps. So a couple of features uh, that you can do from here if you wanted to um, save this as a PDF so you can remember what you explained to your client uh, maybe in the future. If you wanted to print this off, you could certainly do so as well. If you also wanted to, you can run your own hospital indemnity quote without having a Medicare Advantage plan attached. You would just select the hospital indemnity from your quoting tool, enter in your client zip and their demographics, and then hit get quote. So if you're unsure on which hospital indemnity plan that you are going to, to quote your client and you wanted to see the different options, um, you could certainly search all the different plan benefits on here. All of these quotes are, are always going to start with the base amount, so um, they look fairly affordable, you know, being $9 a month, uh, but just remember that it is using the base plan amount of $100 a day, and that would increase if we decide to increase that dollar amount. So <clears throat> if we, for example, going back into that GTL plan, if I would hit the plan details, I would be able to do the exact same thing that I was doing in the fill in the gaps feature where I can go to add my different benefit amounts and then see what that does to the price of my plan. And this is also something that you can save as a PDF or print it out. On this hospital indemnity page, it is going to include some of the benefits here. So as you are going through that list, you can certainly see the different options. If you wanted to compare two plans side by side to each other, you certainly can do so. Let's say I go back to this GTL plan and I'm looking at the Aetna plan as well. I can select those. Those will then turn green. Under my compare quotes in the upper left hand corner, I can click on compare quotes and now I can see the plan side by side to one another and then I can also start adding benefits. So I can see um, that this is more of a lump sum benefit amount where this is a daily benefit amount. I can see what one plan covers and what the other plan does not cover. So here um, all of these items are not available except the skilled nursing writer. And this is where the hospital uh, confinement benefits um, would add that if needed. So that's kind of how you can quickly compare two hospital indemnity plans side by side. Um, without using the fill in the gaps feature. You can also do the same thing with a Medicare Advantage plan. So if I click on Medicare Advantage on the left here, run another quote, entering the zip code and also the county. If I was in between two plans, I would just select on the two plans that I'm looking at. Up in the left hand corner, click on compare quotes then I can easily see these two quotes side by side to one another. I can see what one plan is paying versus the other plan. And if I have two plans side by side, I can also go into the fill in the gaps and run a hospital indemnity quote as well. So now I have two MA plans that I'm looking at. I can add one hospital indemnity plan to that mix.
So now I have my two plans. I can then look at the what I could add for the hospital indemnity. So this tool is very easy to use. Um, it will definitely help you explain the different plan options to your client during AEP and it's a really great feature to use when you're using a Medicare Advantage and a hospital indemnity plan um, in your particular sale.